Hello and welcome! How do we go about making this meditating Kung Fu Panda animation sequence? We will go over Asset Collection, Animation, Parameters for Particle Simulation, Real-Time Water Simulation, Scene Assembly, Lighting, Rendering, Compositing in After Effects, and a five-staged sound design process in DaVinci Resolve. So the idea is to make a small world where Poe the Panda is meditating in the woods in peaceful surroundings. We begin by gathering the assets needed. We will definitely need Poe's model and a windmill, just because countrysides are peaceful. Link for both the models are in the description along with some free assets on my Gumroad. We'll find the models from Sketchfab. If you have Sketchfab add-on installed, you can just find the model and paste the link in the add-on and it will import the model for you with correct material setup. We have our little world base mesh setup as a startup file. It's essentially a sphere slashed from the top and covered with a beveled solidified plane. For animation, we upload the pose model to Mixamo and let it rig. The next step is to choose an animation that looks fairly similar to meditation movements and as if his summoning leaves from the ground. This animation fits perfectly with our concept, so we'll take that. For the windmill, we separate out the blades and parent them to an empty and parent the empty to the body. Now, we can give it some rotation in the local axis. We now have a working windmill and an animated pole. Next, we set up our particle simulation. We make a circle, fill it in, insert it and delete the inner face. That leaves us with a place for our lovely Poe to stand. This will be the emitter. We now set up our particle system using the following parameters. So the particle number will be 150, which will be emitted over 20 frames. And it will start where Poe does the summoning movement. We set the initial Z velocity at 0.5, turning the rotation on and reducing the gravity to zero. To make the particles behave on our command, we add force fields. The first force field will be a vortex and will have a strength at 0.8, inflow at minus 0.4, noise amount at 2.5 and fall of power at 0.7. We also add in a turbulence field to add in some rotation and randomness to the particles and with it a strength of 1.5. We now have a viable particle system. Replacing the particles with a collection of cherry blossom petals and matching the timing of the start of the simulation with the motion of the hand will make a convincing particle simulation. For the real-time water system, we harness the power of geometry node system made by Specular, link in the description. We essentially draw a curve and adjust it according to the terrain. This now gives all river stream. With panda in the center, windmill at the top and river stream connecting the two, our scene is coming together. The only bit left is some vegetation. We use Botanic for this purpose which generates particle systems for the trees and grass for us. We cycle through the seed value for the trees which gives us a good distribution of foliage both at the front and at the back of our little environment. Next comes the lighting. It might look like a fancy lighting scheme but it's just a sky texture tweaked to look just alright. We play with the height and the sun rotation to get an angular light that highlights the form of our models. Lights falling from small acute angles go well with creating a dramatic atmosphere. When that is all set, we set up our rendering parameters. With some testing, 64 samples with 1080p resolution looks like a sweet spot for the quality and the rendering time for this scene. With denoising algorithm as open image denoising and a transparent background, we start the render. After the rendering is done, we now import this render to After Effects for a small amount of compositing. In here, we add in an appropriate background image and keyframe its position to roughly follow the rotation of our partial sphere. 
The position will be just so that the perspective shift looks just right. We add in a small amount of camera lens blur to it, and we have all background. On top of it, we add in a color correction adjustment layer to make the colors punchier and stood out. Finally, we add a fog atmosphere layer, and we have all composite. After exporting from the After Effects, we import it to DaVinci Resolve for sound design and finishing. We do the sound design in four stages. In stage one, we start by adding in the sounds of individual elements within the scene. For example, this water stream. We can add in sound of a windmill as well if you want at this stage. In stage two, we add the ambient sounds. These are the sounds of the atmosphere, the chirping of the birds, and the sound of the gentle breeze. In stage 3, we add the sound effects, the rustling of the petals when they are raised, the whoosh of his arm when they are sent up by him. To tie it all together, in stage 4, we add in a soundtrack. This will be appropriate to the scene setting. For a gentle meditating scene, we have a peaceful soundtrack. The fifth and final step would be to modulate the sound levels for every track. We do this so that every sound element has its say to make the entire sound design look coherent, or rather sound coherent. Finally, we render it all out and we have Poe, peacefully meditating and summoning the forces of nature. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Like and subscribe if you learned something. And I will see you soon in the next one. Farewell.